Welcome back to SCL TV Live. I'm Erica Parr. Here with me in the studio are Eleanor Mullen, Administrator for the St. Louis Theatre Circle, and Judith Newmark, Theater Critic at St. Louis Post Dispatch, and also a member of St. Louis Theatre Circle. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining me. Glad to be here. Tell me all about the St. Louis Theatre Circle. I'm really intrigued by this. I haven't heard of it before. Oh, we've been around for three years, mm -hmm. a little more actually. We are an organization of people who are critics who review St. Louis theater, some in print like me, mm -hmm. some on TV, some uh, are bloggers, mm -hmm. but all of us go to see more plays than you can imagine. <laughs> because I think what people don't know mm -hmm. is besides the Muni, the Rep, the Fox, which I'm sure everybody knows, there are about two dozen theater companies in St. Louis and about 110 plays produced every year. And that's not counting touring shows. Our group only judges Local. locally produced professional theater. We don't um, judge the Fox or the shows that come to the Peabody. Mm -hmm. But the Muni. But the Muni is local, and right. a lot of people don't know that. Those shows are built here, bred here, and those are many, many local actors who appear in them. Yeah. So tell me, what does your week look like going to all these shows? Oh, I go to oh. the theater two, three times a week, <laughs> mm -hmm. and uh, sometimes more. This is a big week. There will be, on any given week, I'm going to see a play on a bus this week. Really? Yes. Like here? I mean, obviously it's, it's, it's here. It's but actual, <laughs> that's a troupe called On Site, and they always do unusual plays at one of their other shows a few years ago it was at a bowling alley and what? the audience got to bowl as well as the actors. Wasn't there one in a laundromat? There also? was one in a laundromat right. and there were regular people doing their laundry. They were very confused. So it's kind of like a flash mob play theater type thing. I that guess group is, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah very excellent. And then there's another group in South City doing right now a beautiful musical called Edwin Drood. It's very family friendly. You could see theater of every type and never go outside of the St. Louis area Where can we find every week. All, of, all these places and X and I will let you answer that. Well, one place I would suggest is Go Magazine, which comes out every Friday at the St. Louis Post Dispatch. Okay. But there are lots <laughs> because you're of critics of yes, Post Dispatch. <laughs> and we we have that list every week, and we track it. And I think that we, if you follow our website, now I'm sorry, it's not a website. It's a Facebook page mm -hmm. for the Social St. Louis, media. yeah, St. Louis Theater Circle. We have our page, and that's going to tell you some of the things that are coming mm -hmm. up, and also it'll give you all the different critics because we go on all year, even though we only have the one event a year, and that's in the spring at Coca. Mm -hmm. So tell me about the event. Well, we formed three years ago. Mm -hmm. um, Judy and I are old friends, and another friend of ours is also a critic, Jerry Kowarski, and we had, and Mark Bretz, and the four of us had set on and off for years, we ought, to, we ought to, you know, get an awards ceremony together, so we did. Ours is judged only by local critics. Mm -hmm. If you have um, an established venue, you are automatically invited to join, like the St. Louis Post-Dispatch. If you're a blogger, you need to have been blogging for two years, mm -hmm. and then we can ask you to join. And we ask that you see 50 plays a year, which would wow. be a little less than half. That's of, right. Of what's I, I see way oh, yeah. more than That's that. Excellent. I go to oh, over yeah. 100 shows a year. In St. Louis, not counting what I might see in New York or Chicago. Wow, that's excellent. Right. And that's, it's not unusual. That's what a lot of the critics do. That's right. That, that's your life. That's your social life. What you better like it. What does it mean it. to get an award from St. Louis Theater Circle? Oh. Listen, you go to New York and get, go to a lot of plays or gather a lot of play programs, and you will see people in Broadway shows saying, winner of the 2013 St. Louis Theatre Circle Award for wow. Best Actor or something. We had a very nice thing happen at this year awards when the, uh, there was a production of mm -hmm. Death of a Salesman mm -hmm. last, last season at Insight. And, and they perform at Nerinx Hall, okay. High School in Webster. Mm -hmm. The father, Willie Loman, was played by John Contini, and his son, 
Jason Contini played Willie's son, Happy, and they both won. They won for Best Actor in oh, a Drama lovely. and Best Supporting Actor. That It meant a lot to that's that lovely. family. We're Wonderful. going to talk so much more about St. Louis Theatre Circle because you guys do so many things. You have an event that you just had. I want to learn more about it and tell everyone at home more about it. So when we come back, we're going to talk more with Judith and... Uh, Eleanor. Eleanor, so sorry. <laughs> when we come right back on STL TV Live, please don't criticize me today. Don't do it. <laughs>